When paramedics are called to help someone who suffered a blow to the head, they must sometimes make educated guesses as to how severely the brain has been injured. But now a handheld device is revolutionizing the way some paramedics assess traumatic injuries. Erica er Edwards reports. After a blow to the head like this one, how badly is the brain damaged? It can be a life or death question. Now a new tool is helping emergency personnel find the answer. I like to call it firefighter proof. Fire Chief Mark Newman and his team are among a growing number of first responders using the InfraScanner 2000. It helps detect bleeding in the brain after a person suffers a head injury. We can actually see an easy to read value of what's going on inside the patient's head. So basically we can get them to the hospital a lot quicker. It's a portable device that allows medical staff to see brain bleeds early before having to put the patient through CT or MRI scans. It really is unique and the first time you're really able to tell what's going on inside the skull. UH Case Medical Center neurosurgeon Warren Selman says the clock starts ticking from the moment bleeding begins in the brain, causing potentially life-threatening secondary injuries. We have a narrow amount of time to get that blood out of the brain or from pressing on the brain before those secondary injuries become even more difficult to treat. The scanner earned its stripes in the U.S. Army, Navy, and Marines. This particular device has been around since 2008, used in the military. It was used in Afghanistan and Fallujah. And now the gridiron. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed on. Someday, perhaps, the scanner will be carried onto the sidelines of youth sports as well. Erica Edwards, NBC News. Pittsburgh-based MedLogic makes the InfraScanner 2000. And now for a look at this morning's travel forecast, your 7 and 4 storm team meteorologist, Joe Charlevoy. Okay, thanks a lot, Holly. Time now for a look at travel uh, weather. We kind of expand the view here, Detroit, Chicago, Minneapolis, uh, the connecting airports, and through northern Michigan. Not much going on. There's some